Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be talking about the roles and responsibilities of an ISSO. That stands for Information System Security Officer. This is part one and stay tuned for the other part. All right, check it out. Now let's take a look at the roles or the responsibilities and daily tasks of an ISO. I'm going to have individual um, videos for each of these tasks, but right now I'm just going to give you a high level summary of what they are. So attending meetings, that's key as an ISO, you're going to be dragged into a lot of meetings with clients, with the uh, chief information security officer with the authorized authorizing officials and other stakeholders conducting PTAs and PIAs this deals with privacy and we'll talk about that um, at a later time participating in incident response so incident response is kind of after the fact uh, when um, a system or your organization has encountered a some type of compromise or breach, uh, incident response is uh, kind of like investigation activities that are carried out to determine what exactly happened, what the impact is, and how to stop the bleeding. So the ISO is involved in part of that uh, incident response process. Reviewing, developing contingency plan. So think of um, what a contingency is. It's something you put in place um, as a backup, right? So you're going to be responsible for um, developing the plan and reaching out to other stakeholders for input. Reviewing change requests. Change requests are um, things that you put in place anytime a change is about to be made to a system or application. So you don't want to make any changes that might impact the system negatively. All right. Reviewing, uh, we already covered that. Performing SIA, sys, um, Security Impact Analysis. So with a change request, your job as a security professional is to review the change from a security perspective to see if that change is significant enough to invalidate your authorization. Is it going to undo some of the security recommendations or security controls that you already put in place when the system was authorized? Developing ISAs. ISAs are inter connection security agreements so if system a is going to be connecting with system b what security um, uh, protections are in place what security agreements and arrangements you have between uh, system a the department and system a and the department and system uh, b mou moa those are memorandum of understanding memorandum of agreement it's kind of similar to ISA, just having um, something documented of your rules of engagement. This is what we, we agree to um, when dealing with um, X, Y, Z. POEM management. POEM stands for plan of action and milestone. So anytime a system has been assessed and there are a list of findings you have to put in a, a plan in place to fix those findings so that's what a poem pretty much is a way of tracking your progress on how to fix or remediate those findings preparing ato packages an ato is 
an authority to operate before you install something before something goes live you put before you put something out on the network it has to be assessed and authorized by an authorizing official so the package is basically the memos the documentation and other artifacts that go um, together when you present uh, the system application to be authorized selecting security controls security controls are things that um, you put in place measures that you put in place to um, reduce the impact of a risk so um, putting a firewall will be an example of a security control having passwords or um, rsa tokens would be an example of a security control tailoring controls tailoring is the ability to customize or yeah customize would be a good word to use customize uh, a control to fit your um, intended use so if um, a control does not use a particular thing then um, that thing could be tailored out if there is another um, system or entity that provides you uh, a security control then you could leverage um, that entity or system that provides that security control I know it kind of sounds um, confusing, but I will go over this um, on another slide. Performing assessment readiness. So assessment readiness is basically um, going through doing a pre-assessment, if you will, uh, making sure that everything is in place before your system goes into assessment participating in assessment so assessment is when a security control assessor um, or a group of security control assessors assess your system um, to see if it the security controls are operating as intended um, producing the desired results and um, they go through a process of testing examining and interviewing people associated with the system to uh, make sure that it's uh it's okay before it go before it could be authorized reviewing sars and sar stands for security assessment report this is the report that is generated after an assessment um, once a security control assessment is performed the list of findings of the controls that failed are listed on the SAR along with remediation actions uh, recommendations this um, is later briefed to the system owner um, on how they could fix or remediate those findings. Hey, if you're interested in any of my cybersecurity videos, here is one I would recommend for you. It's the Information System Security Officer Training. This course comes with tons of videos, uh, a CAP, which is the Certified Authorization Professional Bootcamp, comes with quizzes comes with a certificate of completion resume template um, ebook monthly live q a sessions the ability to ask questions as well and get a response back in uh, 48 hours also has interview prep and job prep so this is a power packed course for more information visit www.cyberfirstacademy.com thanks don't forget to subscribe and like. We're also on IG at CyberFirst Solutions. Thank you.